let's uh, I don't know where what's happening now where it's going you asked when we started you asked about the events that are happening now uh, and of course the answer is you can the they can either go to it, it into egoic channels and then they create more havoc but eventually that's fine too because eventually that too will awaken you it just means more suffering has to come first or it may be possible of people who want to bring about change that they are more conscious and i always i love it when i see people demonstrating peacefully is a wonderful thing just a peaceful demonstration is where people are you, you know and a peaceful demonstration does not demonize other human beings that's the important thing if you start demonizing or groups of humans uh for example because that is ego that the and it's satisfying it's so satisfying to the ego i can say look at these <laughs> bring all oh, it, it it inflates the ego which you can demon police there's a lot that needs to be changed in the way, way policing how pol- and there are of course policemen who are or women who who are, whose ego gets enormous satisfaction from the power they have uh, and the ego loves that you're very unconscious but that it, it is absurd to say that uh, all police are evil it's just totally absurd there are many good human beings who do a very difficult job and yet yes we need to change the whole structure and the way that it is done that's necessary but then if we go further and, and then you we go into another trap which the egoic trap and we could totally astray um but that's fine too if that has to happen then you will regress and regression in consciousness is is also a way of evolving and, and that's an interesting fact that uh, the universe evolves not th- through order the play between order and disorder order and chaos cosmos and chaos cosmos means order chaos means disorder so we need the two operate continuously both in a personal life and in the life of the collective we always think when of course we should strive for order in our lives it's good to just to strive for be building things up creating things that all part of order creating things building things up and so on but no matter whether you should strive for order no matter how it's you strive you will encounter the eruption of disorder into your life in one way or another it will it can because that's how the universe evolves okay everything uh, when i walk in the forest here uh the forest is a coming together of chaos and order because when you look at the soil it's full of decaying plants there's death everywhere every all the vegetation the soil and the scent that emanates from the soil it's de- decaying matter this something dissolving but the decaying matter is food for the new life that's arising the two go together and on a human level the evolution of consciousness often needs a regression into disorder because because before a new level of consciousness can be reached uh, in my own life also i had to go into despair and near, i had to point point a point of near suicide <laughs> before an awakening happened it was necessary my life was just falling apart in my mind <laughs> it was I, i couldn't take it anymore complete chaos <sighs> and it was so it's often the case that uh, the regression is necessary for next level of evolution to happen and uh, that's whether this is happening now we'll wait and have to see it but it sometimes it is possible for evolution also to happen without the regression from time to time <laughs> but uh, 
in this uh, where we are now it doesn't matter where it is i see the whole in long term i'm a, very optimistic about the evolution of human consciousness not necessarily short term but i'm a short term undecided <laughs> But I'm a long-term optimist because I know that the evolution of consciousness is inevitable because that's the entire purpose of the universe is the evolution of consciousness. The universe is an awakening being. It is one being manifesting through countless forms of life. But every form of life, whether it's a person or an animal or a tree, every form of life is a temporary expression that the one underlying being has taken. So there's this, and, and gradually this, this one underlying being uh, is in the process of creating this universe. It would be wrong to believe that the creation of the world is already finished, or that the creation of humans is a finished. If humans are a finished product, it would be very sad. You would ask, can't do God? Can't God do better than that? If that's the, but not humans. Humans is their awakening, an awakening species, and that's fine. So, I'm quite happy with the way things are going. If we need a regression, there's a French expression. Excuse my French, but it's. Reculer pour mieux sauter, which means something like to step back in order to jump better. When you want to jump, you have to go back first and then you jump. So the, often the regressive step is necessary, but it's not perhaps always necessary. So we'll have to see. <laughs>